Hi, this is Cowboy Bill Watts. Be sure that you take full advantage of InYourHeadOnline.com. Fabulous site for wrestling, wrestling memories, what's going on today, what's probably going to happen tomorrow. Tune it in and tell them Cowboy Bill Watts sent you. Sane Shane from our message board, he has a question. He wants to know, what entrance music did you prefer what making your entrance to? The WCW one or the Psycho Sid one in WWF? You know... Psycho Sid one or what now? The WCW uh, entrance WCW, music. WCW, that's what I was thinking. Say. Oh. Now, as we were the skyscrapers, WCW. I enjoyed it the best because it was the best music, but it was a tape they couldn't use today. It was one of the Scorpion songs. Mm-hmm. And that was that's the reason that one be, would be better than the rest of them. Oh, definitely. You got the Scorpions doing your entrance. That's uh... Exactly. So as far as <laughs> intro music, that was the best one. Yeah. Uh, Barbie? Yeah. Afro in the chat room wants to know if you've seen the movie The Wrestler. No, I haven't. I got the, just got the um, DVD the other day from a friend of mine that left at his house. So I haven't seen it, but I want to watch it. I've seen the trailers to it. Unfortunately, the trailers didn't excite me enough to watch it and go out and get it immediately. Mm-hmm. Um, but, but now, you got to realize, I said earlier tonight, that I love the small stage, and that right there was the small stage for what, the, for what I saw the guy was trying to come back to. And that's what interests me. I want to see that because it looks like those little shows we used to do. So I will watch it. I just haven't had time to. Mm-hmm. Big fan of Mickey York, though. Oh, yeah. We oh, had his uh, trainer the on the other week. Uh, this week, Alpha, the Wild Simone. Right. Uh, we get a lot of people calling in who already called in. You can't just keep calling in. You, you call in once, you have a question for Sid. That, that, that's enough. <laughs> but uh, I was just wondering, uh, you know, today they say a lot, almost all the uh, promos are scripted. Now, would you be, like, uh, comfortable with that, or were you a guy that, you know, preferred well, to do your own? Or I think is this. I you know I've some of the, you know, one of the better interviews I did before, and it was, wasn't a long one, it was when it was handed me to Vince that I really thought it was, you know, really thought out well, and it was something I think that really, um, at the time, it was a perfect interview for the right time for that show, and it was leading up to the big show that, that the Alamo done with me and Sean, is where I was in that empty arena, and I pretty much did word for word, you know, word for word, with Vince set out. Now, if they were that good all the time, I'd, you know, sit back and let them do those all the time, but... I had the luxury to, um, could I keep up with a lot of interview material myself? That's something I'm prepared with. And, uh, I'm always going to be prepared with, and, and I think anybody knows me. Even Vince will say, you know, yeah, this guy knows his interview. So they let me, they looked, had me look at one. I uh, said, so you like this, or what are you thinking? And if I had one better, they let me do mine. But, you know, if you can cut, you know, uh, man, I'm telling you, that was to me one of the better interviews I did, and it was laid out perfect. So if they can come up with things like that, I'd say that was what, you know, I've, they do that job and do, you know, that's why I let them do it. But I think um, a lot of times myself will have something good to say, too. So, and I think they'll listen to it. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if you're, uh, you're aware of the Hall of Fame is this weekend. Uh, do, do you follow that? The WWE no, Hall I, don't. Mm-hmm. I don't. I uh, don't. Just uh, One of the guys was uh, being inducted is Bill Watts. I don't know if you ever had a chance to work with him. Maybe didn't. Uh, well, I, I, just a short stint, man. I've got... Man, a lot of respect for Bill Watts. Um, I think he's one of the smartest guys in this business, too, right there in the top ten of all the smartest people in this business. Um, um, I just I learned a lot from the guys for watching him and how he did things. And uh, um, I use some of those same deals in my matches today. So I think he's a really smart guy. He's a great, um, as far as, like, creating heels and stuff, I don't think there could probably be many better people other than Ole Anderson than he is at making a heel. So that's why I like those guys like that a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, who who would you say like uh, help you the most to like learn to work as a big man? Well, you know, I had a lot of people. Man, you gotta realize in WCW, I had so many people I could go to. I had uh, Ole Watts, uh, Ole Anderson, I had uh, uh, Bill Watts, I had um, Blackjack Mulligan, I had uh, Yahoo McDaniel's, I had. Um, God, it just goes on and on, you know. So I, I got a lot of input all the time on how to make this character, you know, rough, tough, and mean. So there were so many guys that added to it. But the one guy that probably really taught me things how to, uh, say, you know, say in a tag match, tag match, just to cut off the ring and make the people work a match to a certain point that you could make the people feel suffocated, like you're trying to make the guy look suffocated. 
And if you could do that, then people, when you do get that tag, they'll be happy it happens. And so Oli taught me some of those things the best for things like that. Mm-hmm. Now, Oli's definitely a guy like some people, uh, you know, say a lot of good things about him and some people don't like him at all. But you seem well, like somebody who's, uh, you know, you got along well, with Well, the thing is, this, is this, and I don't know who said these things, but the thing about Oli is this. If you're a type of person that doesn't want to know the truth, then you don't like Oli <laughs> Anderson, okay? <laughs> now, I'm, I'm so happy. I'm one of these guys that, I love working under Ole Anderson or Bill Watts or guys like that are you know, authoritative, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, when they call me dumb motherfucker and this and that, I don't take it to heart, you know. I just know their way of letting you know you didn't do good right then. Um, a lot of people took it just too personal. And um, I just think those people are probably the ones that don't give you a really good read for people like that because they didn't see eye to eye with them. I think if you look what those guys did and some of the products they made and some of the people they produced, you can't argue what they've done. Yeah, we uh, we meet Oldie every year at uh, the NWA Fan Fest in Charlotte, and uh, I think he's one of the funniest guys I've ever met. Oh, he's a funny son of a bitch, man. He's a, <laughs> he loves his business, guys. He loves teaching. He loves to see someone. He loves to see that he would pass be able to pass something on to that could help someone else. And um, he maybe likes it too much, and too much of a passion when it comes across sometimes is um, the wrong way. Yeah, I always heard you know a lot of people said bad stuff about him, and we every year. He sits down in the in the uh, in like the lobby in the hotel and talks with the fans like for like six hours a day. Mm-hmm. Right. He's just a really nice guy, really. He but, is uh, a good guy, man. Uh, you said earlier about uh, Bischoff. Now uh, we've had him on a, a few times, and he's you know talked about starting his own promotion, him and Hogan. And I don't know if it's ever going to start up or not. But if like they did do that, would that be something you'd be interested in? Well, anything Eric would do, you'd have to look at it because you know guys got um a great mind and great pizzazz for the business but probably not uh, mm-hmm. because what they're probably going to try to do it would be take too long i don't have 20 years to see the business get on top again with vince's you know yeah. again just the perfect place for me mm-hmm. now if something if something uh like a start a promotion like that if they ask you to be part of it as like um like the creative side, would that be something you'd be interested in? No, that's something I'd jump in right away. If I they say, hey, Sid, well, we want to have you come in and work, but we also have to work the creative side, and if that and the other things would sort of line up, that would be enough to you know say, okay, I, I, I'll try this. You know, say, I feel like I've you know reached the end of the deal, uh, talking with Vince, and I didn't think things was going to work out, and this thing would come across, and everything was perfect, and I would I would probably do something like that. Yeah. 